Imagine stumbling upon a stretch of soil so rich, black, and fertile that it defies the surrounding landscape. Not just once, but again and again, patches of living earth thriving for centuries without chemical inputs, supporting healthy crops year after year. This was the mystery that puzzled scientists and ecologists across the Amazon basin, where ancient civilizations left behind soil so vibrant that it still outperforms modern synthetic fertilizers. They called it terra preta, dark earth in Portuguese. For years, the fertility of Terra Preta was chalked up to a kind of indigenous alchemy, but today, science is finally catching up. The secret lies in what we now call the ancient char mix, a powerful blend of biochar, bone ash, and compost-infused liquids that transformed even poor jungle soils into abundant food-producing ground. And you don't need to be an archaeologist or a rainforest farmer to benefit from it. In this guide, we'll show you how to recreate this centuries-old formula in your own raised beds or garden plots, using simple ingredients that speak to both ancestral wisdom and cutting-edge soil science. What is the ancient char mix? At the heart of Terra Preta lies carbon, not the kind belched from factories but biochar, a slow-burned form of charcoal made from wood, leaves, and crop waste. Ancient Amazonians didn't just burn debris and scatter the ashes. They purposefully buried this biochar with food scraps, bones, and fermented liquids to create a living matrix of fertility. Over time, this mix became more than just soil. It became a thriving habitat for beneficial microbes, worms, and fungi, a true underground ecosystem. The ancient char mix, then, is a synergy. Biochar acts like a sponge and shelter. Bone ash delivers long-lasting phosphorus and calcium. Compost juice brings the microbial life to colonize and activate the system. Each ingredient on its own helps, but together they produce a soil transformation unlike anything in a bottle. Biochar the sponge that never sleeps. So biochar is made by burning organic material like wood chips or crop residues in the absence of oxygen, a process called pyrolysis. What you get is a carbon-rich substance filled with tiny pores, kind of like a coral reef for microbes. These pores don't break down over time. They hold water, trap nutrients, and offer homes for bacteria and fungi that feed your plants. Modern researchers have confirmed that biochar improves soil structure, increases moisture retention, and reduces nutrient leaching. But, you know, indigenous communities figured this out long before there were microscopes. By embedding biochar in their soils, they created permanent fertility zones that endured for hundreds of years. You can make your own biochar in a fire pit or buy it pre-made. Just make sure it hasn't been treated with chemicals. Bone ash, ancient phosphorus storage. Next in the mix is bone ash, another old world ingredient that packs serious punch. When bones are burned at high heat, they break down into a fine powder loaded with phosphorus and calcium. These minerals are crucial for root development, flowering, and fruiting, but they don't leach away like synthetic fertilizers. Instead, they bond with biochar, remaining available to plant roots over time. Bone ash also raises soil pH slightly, which is, you know, a bonus for acidic gardens. When added to compacted, tired, or clay-heavy soils, it helps unlock nutrients that were otherwise trapped. Indigenous people understood this not through lab reports but through practice. They fed the land with what came from it, bone, fire, and time. To make bone ash at home, you can burn clean animal bones in a fire until they turn white and brittle. Then, crush them into powder with a mortar, brick, or even a hammer. It's a good idea to use gloves, as the powder is alkaline. If you prefer a simpler route, you can purchase steamed bone meal, which offers similar benefits. Compost juice, the living elixir. The third piece of this ancient trio is compost juice, a fermented liquid extracted from compost piles or food scrap brews. This is really where the microbial magic begins. While biochar and bone ash provide structure and minerals, compost juice seeds, the soil with bacteria, fungi, and enzymes that accelerate decomposition and nutrient cycling. Ancient cultures often used versions of this without calling it by name. They soaked manure, banana peels, herbs, or even ash in water for days, creating teas that were then poured into planting pits or trenches. These brews activated the soil, softened the clay, and brought worms closer to the surface. 
To make your own, soak a shovel of finished compost or worm castings in a bucket of water for 24 to 48 hours. Stir occasionally. Strain and pour directly into the soil or mix it with your biochar and bone ash base. You can also ferment fruit scraps with molasses and water for an even stronger microbial brew. To bring this ancient method into your garden, start by layering. In a raised bed or trench, mix one part biochar with one part compost and a handful of crushed bone ash. Pour compost juice over the mix until it is damp but not soggy. Let it rest for a few days or plant directly into it if the mix is well balanced. This blend is best added before planting season but, you know, it can also be used as a mid-season amendment. Just spread it near the root zones of heavy feeders like tomatoes, squash, and corn. You'll notice stronger growth, deeper color, and improved drought resistance. It also pairs beautifully with mulch. Just lay straw, leaves, or wood chips on top to protect the soil and let the mix work its magic underneath. Over time, the entire bed becomes enriched, not just chemically, but biologically. Why it works, science catches up with tradition. Today, soil scientists really marvel at Terra Preta's ability to maintain high fertility centuries after it was made. It has five times more nitrogen and carbon than surrounding soils and supports double the microbial diversity. The char doesn't degrade and the nutrient exchange continues for decades. Why? Well, it's because the structure of biochar resists breakdown while continuously providing habitat. Bone ash, on the other hand, feeds the microbes and plants slowly. And compost juice, yeah, it keeps the microbial engine running. Together, they create a cycle that never runs out of fuel. It's no surprise that regenerative farmers and soil scientists are now looking to ancient models for modern solutions. In an age of depleted soils and climate instability, methods like the char mix offer both resilience and renewal. Final thoughts, a recipe for the ages. The ancient char mix isn't just a gardening technique, it's a story of reverence, for fire, for life, for the unseen world beneath our feet. It teaches us that fertility isn't something we add from the outside, it's something we awaken. If your soil is tired, compacted or hungry, don't reach first for store-bought bags, reach back in time. Combine fireborn charcoal, bone memory, and living compost. Let your garden remember what ancient growers always knew, that the best soil is alive. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to subscribe to Hydrohaven and share this video with fellow gardeners. When old wisdom meets modern practice, everyone wins, especially the plants.